We are back with another early morning view, check-in of my hydroponic tomatoes. Now these are the tomatoes that were supposed to be round. These are the big red tomatoes. Over here we have the boxcar willy tomatoes. They're growing in my Dutch buckets. Standard Dutch buckets set up. And we're checking in to see how these are doing. Now, I've been having a problem with these tomatoes. You see this? This is blossom end rot. I don't know why I'm getting blossom end rot on this particular tomato plant. It doesn't happen on every single, every every blossom or every fruit. It doesn't happen on every fruit. You see it happens on quite a few of them. You see it's happening here. This one's okay though. Plenty of calcium getting to them. Calcium deficiency is usually the problem, the reason why we have blossom end rot. Um, yeah, I'm not sure why. Like, you mix the calcium nitrate in with the in with the rest of the nutrients. It's getting the proper amount of calcium in the water anyway. It's available to it. The other plant over here, the boxcar willy, doesn't have quite as many fruits on it. It's not being quite as prolific as the big red. I'm not sure why, but I do have some ripe tomatoes down there. Now they're not huge. They're not as big as I expected them to be. Uh, just kind of little little guys. Put tomatoes down here. So these appear a little bigger, but guess what? A rookie move. Did not tie this vine up and that one broke off. So I don't know how those are going to do. i got a whole bunch of them here that are going to go to waste because I is something stupid. This one right here, this one's looking good though. This would be a good sized tomato. And we've got some more up in there. So overall, this plant's doing pretty well. Now, the question that we were answering is how is it doing comparing compared to my, how is it doing? <laughs> now, the question that we were answering is how is it doing compared to my soil grown tomatoes? Let's go take a look. All right, here's the fellow that we were comparing against, the Lemon Boy tomato. It's got a few tomatoes on it. It's got a few here, a few here, got a few down in there. It's got one that's ripening. Now, I've never planted a Lemon Boy. They get yellow when they're ripe, so it's a little bit more difficult to tell when these are ripe. So it's got about the same amount of fruit as the Boss Car Willy. Same amount of size as the fruit, it's about the same size. And the plant's about the same size. So, can you say one's doing better than the other? You can not. Uh, like we've noticed before, the stem and the robustness of the plant is more on the hydroponic tomato. But the fruit production and the overall quality of the plant, I don't think they're any different. Now let's look at some of my other plants that are older. Some of these plants that I planted in January, like these guys. I planted them in January. I started them in January in my basement. I planted them outside in a low tunnel in March. So they're an older plant. So I would expect them to have much, much more fruit on them. This is the big beef. Look at that sucker right there, man. This is going to be a good sized tomato. I've never planted a big beef or big beef tomato before. My other beef big tomatoes, tons of fruit on them. Tons of fruit on them. Turning red all over the place. Look at these things over here. I find they're absolutely insane. I've lost my walkways. I can't walk through here anymore. This is my Roma tomato plant. My Roma tomatoes. They're almost as big as my... See that in there? They're almost as big as my big red tomatoes. Look at that celebrity tomato in there. See that guy in there? So... What am I saying? What am I rambling on about? So far, my tomatoes are doing just as well or better in the soil. Now, keep in mind, all the soil ones except for the Lemon Boy and the Big Beef are two to four weeks older than the tomatoes in the hydroponic buckets. So I expect them to be more mature, have different fruits on them, more fruits, whatever. And the ones in the hydroponic buckets are not necessarily better. So, I think I'm forming my conclusions, and I mentioned in the last clip that 
they may or may not be better. If you've got soil, you're probably just as well off growing your tomatoes in the soil, unless it's severely deficient soil, or you have problems with your soil. Anyway, this will be the last update for this video. I'll cut it off, and then we'll do a taste test and some final conclusions in a couple weeks when I get some tomatoes off these other vines. And I get some more. Like the first tomato off the hydroponic vine, that's fine. The first tomato off the hydroponic plant is all well and good, but I want to get one of these big red tomatoes ready before I do an actual taste test. So one boxcar willy, one big red, so that we can compare them fairly and uh, just see, see what the results are. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Hala